Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Okay, before we get into the tips and tricks, if you want to support me in any way possible, even by leaving a like, a comment, or even subscribing to the channel, that would mean a lot. If you have done so already, thank you very much. If you haven't already, please do join BGN, which is also known as British Gaming Network. It's currently in its stage of V2, so there's lots of updates, great RP, gang RP, police RP, and much more. So if you haven't already, please do press the link in the description and use the connection code so you can go ahead and join the server. But without further ado guys, thank you very much for listening, and let's get into the video. <laughs> In this video, what I'm going to be discussing is all of the tips and tricks that you need to know. So first of all, what we're going to talk about is FPS. So if you get a standard 30, 60, 120, 140 FPS, you should be fine. But in this case, what we're going to be talking about is a standard 30 to 60 FPS. There is a few things that you can do to increase your FPS. So if we go ahead and go into the task manager right now. Okay, so you would load up the game and you're in the game now. So what you need to do is to increase your FPS. Type in task manager and then look for Google Chrome if you have it open in the background. Press your G button, and there you go, it'll show Google Chrome, and then it'll show all the other Google Chromes in the background. But once you delete all of these Google Chromes by ending the task, this will actually increase the FPS. A nice little trick that not a lot of people know about is if you don't really clean your computer and you just play on it and you don't really care, um, but you should to be fair, if you actually open up your case and you see quite a lot of dust, you should go ahead and clean that immediately. Compressed air works pretty much, so if you actually clean your computer and your components are free of dust, they will actually go back to their normal state of temperature and boost FPS. It's literally as simple as that. As long as your components are clean, you'll get high FPS. If they're full of dust, then they're going to be getting hotter, so it's going to be decreasing the FPS. So This next one is kind of a joint one, so your hard drive and your texture. So if you have a hard drive which runs at 5400 RPM or 7200 RPM, hard disk drive, which is a HDD, which is one of them big meaty drives instead of an SSD, this will take longer for your textures to load. And this is what I found out because I have a two terabyte hard drive and my and my 5m used to be on my two terabyte and obviously it's quite large for capacity wise i'm not sure if this is correct but with a hard disk drive when you're trying to load information or data the disk will actually spin and then it will try and read the information that's why it takes longer for the disk drive to load with an ssd it will run off a chip i think i'm not too sure well, what it'll do is it'll load the information immediately so when you load 5m your textures are loading as well as the game that's the hard drive side of it but what we're going to do now is we're going to get into the textures and how to reduce the texture loss so this is what will happen if you obviously you know fall through the map and you're having texture issues so what we need to do is we need to go into the settings right now and if you want to go down until we see graphics okay so now we're in the settings and as you can see we can see vsync so what vsync does it locks your frames so all your textures can load so vsync on will lock it to 60 fps and v Vsync half, I think, will lock it to 30 FPS. Vsync off, not lock it so it's uncapped frame. Locking your frames to 30 to 60 or uncapped FPS will allow you to render in the whole map, depending on like what your computer is. Also, making sure that you copy my settings so the population density, the population verity, and the distance scaling are turned all the way off, and your extended texture budget is halfway. Scrolling through the settings and making sure that your aspect ratio and your resolution is completely fine. Also turning off the long shadows, the high resolution shadows and the high detail while flying, you don't need any of them and making sure that your extended distance scaling is all the way up so your map can render, everything can render and your game can run as smoothly as possible. Once again visiting the task manager we can find 5M so if we press the drop down and then we look that we can see that the server is there so if we right click on it we can go ahead and click on go to details. So once we go to the details you'll see a bunch of files that are running uh, processes all that good stuff so if you actually find the gta 5 process and you can see that it's actually using the cpu so this is what is using your cpu and could potentially cause you to fall through the map so if you actually right click on it and then you can go to set priority so what you need to do is click on the height and change it so this will basically make it a priority in your computer that your cpu will use this the most and put all of its power into that that file and obviously it'll just make your game run a whole lot better if you want to make your 5m game look better as you can see on screen the sky is completely sky blue the textures look a bit nicer it's more vibrant and if you want to find one of these texture packs, there is a texture pack link in the description. It's called Make Visuals Great Again. So what this will do is it'll make your sky a lot nicer. Just make your visuals just a whole lot nicer in general. Well, I'm almost positive that the normal GTA 5 game is kind of gloomy. It's dark. It's, it's gritty. If you want to make your game look good, I would recommend. Okay, so the next and last thing that we're going to be talking about is clearing the cache. So what the cache is, it's a folder where all of your data gets saved from 5M. So say, for example, you join a server and it's downloading all of the vehicles the textures everything else so that's where all of your data 
it is going to be saved so what you're going to do is if your game is laggy if like you're having texture loss so therefore you would go ahead and delete them and reinstall them so they're a fresh install okay so what we need to do is we need to find the directory so we just go into 5m and open the file so once we're in 5m and you found it you want to go to the application data okay so you click on the application data then you want to find the folder called data you want to click on that then you'd be greeted with cache game data new i storage server cache and server cache priv so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and delete server cache server cache priv and cache and once you've deleted all of them you should be completely fine you've deleted all your cache and that is the last thing that we're going to be doing in today's video so what you'll do is you want to go back into 5m you want to down all the assets the data everything you need vehicles all that good stuff stand there for a couple of minutes wait until everything you know loaded and um and you should be good to go so thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to leave it a like comment subscribe if you want to support me in any way possible leave it a like comment and subscribe on the video is more than enough so thank you to the people that actually do that and if you haven't already please do join bgn and thank you very much for watching once again and i'll see you guys in the next video uh, all my friends fucked up on a school night yes i want to die but i'm all right money and a child always on my mind money and a child take over my life